this lesson, we're going to take a closer look at sus chords. All right, so let's get into sus chords. Now, sus, S-U-S, is short for suspended. These are suspended chords. They're neither major nor minor. And you're going to see what I mean by suspended uh, a little later in this lesson. But basically, uh, I'm going to show you four different sus chords, all, all down in the open position here. And um, these are going to be the most common sus chords that you're going to use. And you'll, you'll hear these used all the time in all kinds of different songs. So definitely worth uh, understanding and worth, worth uh, learning because you will use them over and over again. And once you hear them and kind of know what they are by definition, you're, you'll and you, when you listen to music, you're going to hear lots of sus chords because they're, they're they're very common in music. So um, especially on the guitar. Um, so uh, in that little opening riff, I kind of strummed um, a couple of different chords, and I started with an E major, which sounds like that. And what I did is I I went back and forth between the E major and the E sus four chord. And to create that E sus4 chord, all I did was I took my pinky and I put it here on the third string, second fret, right here. I kept all my other fingers in place from the E major, and I added my pinky to create that E sus4. And you can see what I mean by suspended. Uh, you don't really know where that chord is going or where it came from. It's just kind of suspended there. It's not a major chord. It's not a minor chord. But it sounds pretty cool. And especially in conjunction with the E. So you can see uh, by just adding that sus4 chord, um, you can get all kinds of uh, uh, different rhythms. And that makes your playing a lot more uh, entertaining. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of boring to just hold the same chord over and over again without making any changes. So that's that's what sus chords do is they kind of uh, spice up your playing a little bit. So with the E we can create an E sus4 which we just did there. Now we can't create an E sus2. So you're limited to just the E sus4 with the E chord. But on the other three chords I'm about to show you, you can play a sus4 and a sus2. So let's move on and play the A chord. We're going to go to an A major which looks and sounds like that. Now, to create an A sus4, all we do is we take our pinky again, push down on the second string, third fret, play that D note. That creates an A sus4. Now, let's hear an A sus2, because we can get a sus2 with this A. All we do, do to create that is we remove our ring finger from the A chord, so we're only using these two fingers. And then you've got a, uh, on the second string, you've got a B note that's ringing out. And that's an A sus2. So the sus2 is, uh, I kind of think of it as uh, what's happening below the root chord. And the sus4 is what's happening above the root chord. So the note above is the su makes the sus4, the note below makes the sus2. A, A sus4, A, A sus2. So you can see with, with a sus4 and a sus2, you can... You can start uh, almost making little mini songs with just one chord. So uh, you can come up with all kinds of cool riffs uh, just by uh, playing around with those uh, sus4 and sus2 chords. Now, like I said, you can't make the sus2 when you're playing the E major, but you can with the A. Uh, and you also can. Let's move on to the D. And the D sus4 is uh, one of the most common chords. You hear that uh, most people that are, anytime you're holding out a D chord for any uh, length of time, you're going to hear, pretty much always hear somebody introduce the, uh, the D sus4. But with the D create the D sus4, again we take our pinky and we push down this time on the first string third fret. Create that sound. So there's the D. That's the D sus4 because it's the note above the, uh, the root. Now uh, to get the D sus2, I'm going to take away my middle finger. 
so that this E note rings out. And that's the, the D sus2. So we have D, D sus4, D, D sus2. And the same as we just did with the A, you can play around. You can play around all day long with that, just by adding a finger, releasing a finger, adding a finger, releasing a finger. You can get, you can make that D sound very interesting. Now, as I said, these sus chords are neither major nor minor, so what's kind of cool is if I'm playing a D minor chord, which sounds like that, I can play those same uh, sus4 and sus2 chords. They work just the same. There's the major. Major, here's the minor. So that's really cool. So you, you really, you learn them once and you can use them with either major or minor. You never have to worry about them not working. They'll always work. They'll always complement those chords. So there you have it. There's the, now we've learned the, the E, the A, and the D. Now let's learn one other chord in the uh, open position that has some complementary sus chords, and that's the C. The C, um, which we, we should know by now, uh, looks and sounds like this. Um, now again, we're going to use our pinky to create that sus4, so if that's the C, C major, if I add my pinky to the uh, third fret, fourth string, and play, you can hear what I'm creating is a C sus4. So there's the C, there's the C sus4. And to create the C sus2, we just remove our middle finger. And you can play around that C chord all day long. And uh, it just makes playing that C uh, a lot more entertaining. So there you have it. There's the E, the D the A and the C. Those are the probably the most common um, open note uh, combinations of sus chords that you're going to play with. Now you can create sus chords for any chord. You're not limited to just those, but those are the most common when you're strumming chords down in the open position. So play around with them, check out the tab, practice them, and use them.